Tell me when you want to start. Uh, start right now, I suppose. Okay, good. Is that turned on? Yeah, they're all turned on, yeah. What's yeah. this? The camera's coming. Camera, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you remember me seeing Jack Donovan for the first time? Yes. Um, I, 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 I do and I don't, um, because I, I went to the art school when I was 16, at night time. Right. Yeah. Um, and it was only for, uh, for a, a kind of a winter term in a way, and he ran them in. The pipe. He said, you see, you must remember that Jack was, uh, Jack would stand out, you know, physically in Limerick and, uh, in the mid '60s, right? Yeah. You no, know, yeah. but he had such an individual, um, individual appearance about him. You know, the, the old hat like this and the pipe, and um, he he had a little dicky bow and all that. But um, what he, he'd come in and he'd go out during the the, um, the evening class. So when I went there on a full-time basis in 1969. I, I do actually recall when I went up to see him and brought up some of my drawings. I wanted to go to the school, you see. Yeah. And um, he, uh, he was in his little office, uh, the caretaker, a fellow called, this is up in the Limerick Senior College now. Yeah. Top floor. Top floor. And um, on top floor, the caretaker says to me, you probably won't get him this hour today, he go over and Jerry your D's, you know. So I hung around the place and I went for about three quarters an hour and I came up the stairs. I remember it was a Friday, everybody, because I was getting after a few bob on the door, you see? Yeah, yeah. So I said I'd pay my fees with the door money. <laughs> I didn't know what the fees were, but I knew they weren't exorbitant anyway. All right, back then. You know? <laughs> so he says, I says, Mr. Drunsman, oh yes, he says, how are you? You obviously remember me from the time I was doing the, the night classes there. And, uh, I came in and he says, um, mm. well, it must have been around September too. Good, good, he said. And I had about four or five drawings. I didn't paint at that time, I thought, you know. Wow. And uh, he said, yes, she says, you can start Monday. I said, you know, you know. Um, mm. He said, and that would be, um, how much again? Two pounds, he said. Uh, Three pounds? Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, my God. So I had a five pound note, you see. I think that was the total sum. Uh, I said, I offered him five for a note. He said, I have no change to the moment, you know. I said, that's all right, it doesn't matter. You know, I, I was just glad that he was turning out the way I wanted it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it was afterwards, I was reading an article by uh, 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 Dave Lindbergh had the exact same experience when he started going <laughs> to the art school, you know. <laughs> but um, yeah, that, that was the first time that I had. Um, a sort of a concise memory of Jack. Cool. You want to number two? Yeah, yeah, why not? <clears throat> oh yes. Um, that's not easy to guess. Jack would hang, or he'd guess Joe the caretaker to hang his pictures up in the corridors in school. All right. Yeah. And at that time, Jack was doing the sort of um, the collage work. Which um, he later abandoned, you know. Oh, yeah. And uh, he had, there's a picture there, and it was called uh, The Barber and His Wife on Vacation. The Barber and His Wife on Vacation. And His Wife on Vacation. Oh. And it had an indelible uh, impression on that. Um, it, was, it was everything that I aspired to if I was going to paint. Right. That I would paint like that. But you know, as, as a. Vasari said, poor is the pupil who doesn't surpass his master. But this picture, this particular picture, um, I, I, I still see it today actually, it was, um, it, was I, it was something like I'd never seen before. You must remember too, Peter, at that time in the, in the late 60s, that the amount of um, material that we'd get from, you know, art books, etc., was incredibly limited. Yeah, yeah. And they were prohibitively expensive for the simple reason that the reproduction of colour photography was expensive. And there'd be, it was a tiny little library in the school, I mean, it would fit on that table there. You wouldn't even call it a library, for example, you know. Yeah. 
and you get the odd piece of the color of reproduction. It's hard for a student today to to, to sort of you know to, to to visualize that type of situation, you know. And um, everything we saw was in black and everything we saw, which wasn't much, but you know, but it was actually in black and white. And you know. Yeah, yeah. So seeing other people's pictures, like the barber and his wife on vacation, was a it was a magical um, experience. Magical experience for me, you know. Yeah. Well, okay. yeah. Right. Well, I think what impression made on me, but that's the impression made on me. Right. I said, I wish I could paint like that. As a young painter, that what specifically did you learn from him? <laughs> um, I learned from the, from the barber and his wife. I learned from that picture. I mean, Jack, being, Jack was never a teacher as such, in the strict sense of the word. You know, I mean, it, it brings it to question the whole thing about teaching art. If I sat you down there, he just did not. <laughs> um, if I sat you down, I couldn't tell you how to, to copy something faithfully. You know, if you weren't able to, mm -hmm. you know, it would be difficult. So um, I, I learned from Jack's work. I learned by seeing. Seeing his work, yeah. 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 I didn't care about the methodology that he used of the actual pasting of the, let's call it the, 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 the nudes that he used onto the board. I didn't care about that. You know, the means justify the ends as far as I was concerned. It's his pictures that spoke to me first. Would you regard him as an inspiration? Oh, certainly. There was no doubt about that. Good. He was an invaluable, um, I, I, I think, um, without him saying anything or doing anything, um, he was responsible for me taking art seriously and they dedicated my full time to us. Nice. What was your first day in Jar College like with Jack? I don't remember really. Right. Uh, and was it was it was Brian McMahon in your class at the same time? No, so? no, no. no. Mm -hmm. Brian was a uh, younger. Brian came in after me. After you. Yeah, I was there in nineteen sixty nine to about nineteen seventy two. When I was there, um, with people like uh, Richard Slade, Richard Slade, we were contemporaries. Uh, Sam Walsh, Sam Walsh. Uh, who else? Joe Donahue. Um, well, did he, did he, did he, did he, was it a full class? Good question. The class would be of around. You see, there was only about sixty students there. Sixty at the maximum, seventy. Seventy. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Might have been less than that. In the um, whole entire college, like? Huh? In the whole entire college? Oh yeah, that was the school of art, you know? Oh, gosh, yeah. wow. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Um, but I, 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 it flabbergasts me, that's it does. When I think of it now, how many students are on the school at the moment? There was a, a, a couple of thousand now, but just, there's basically 30, actually there's 30, the goal up is max is 30 to each class now. And that's from print to fashion to painting. Yeah. And in my class alone, they're saying we're the biggest painting class they've had in years. There's really? 32 yeah. of us. And that is not that. There's 32 of us in my class alone. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hmm. Well, you see, we be, it wasn't structured like that in the old days. In the old days, you did everything. You know, Tom Phipps, for example, was the... Did you know Tom Phipps? Yeah, I've heard of him. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Um, Tom Pitts was the sculptor. You do painting, you do life drawing, you do drawing from antique, you do sculpture, you do the history of art, mm -hmm. you do printing, Dietrich, God who came in then. Right. You know, what have you. Um, but it was, um, it was like a hippie colony. You know? <laughs> <laughs> it was, and it felt like Penny Pendergrass was bringing up the guitar, you know. And, um, it, it was okay, you no, know, I mean, it was a laugh, it was a, not a laugh, it was a laugh, it was a good old laugh, actually, but, um, 
Yes, so how long was it back then? How long many years did you have to? It was only two or three years back then, was it? Or was it? Well, what, do, do you see the course on this was, um, if you want to we're going to make, you're going to be an artist when you come out of here. I mean, the same applies to the school today. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, so yeah. you, what, what, the, the, the end all of the old art school system was an ATC certificate. Nice. And, and that was the only thing that you had, the art teacher's course. If you did your intermediate um, uh, examination and passed it in everything, modeling, the, uh, history of art, painting, drawing, that was fine. And then you do the, um, the higher one. It was intermediate and higher. And if you got the higher one then you got got all enough marks. You were you got your art teacher certificate. You had right. a qualification to teach art. Alright. Did cool. you know that? Yeah, I, I didn't know. No. Yeah. So you could teach art if you wanted well if you uh, What? You could teach yourself now? Well it, Oh I could, yeah. yeah. Well I mean I didn't stay long enough to get the higher um, no, right, degree, yeah. you know, yeah. because um because um, I, I I couldn't visualize myself, you know, working as an art teacher. Yeah, you know, that's the last thing I wanted. Um, I was young and I was from, I, was, I suppose I was, uh, uh, I, I was still, I didn't want to be stuck in a rut like that, mm. you know. And um, I, I got up and I just left, went off to England. That's um, when you went to England and didn't yeah, get a horse and uh, yeah. And uh, there was, um, that, that's, those times that they were in us, you know, I didn't yeah. have any parental sort of, um, let's say, influence. You know, my father didn't care what I do as long as I didn't bring the cars to the house, you know what I mean? <laughs> my mother was totally indifferent about it. And uh, so I was kind of free and easy like that. Really? I didn't have any responsibilities. Yeah. I wasn't irresponsible, I just that didn't, yeah. that, that didn't weigh on me. You yeah. know, but I mean, yeah. yeah. I'd say in the class there would have been about 16, probably 17 people, you know. Half of them shouldn't have been there at all, you know. <laughs> <laughs> I suppose the same is true today. You know? <laughs> <laughs> no, dear me. No. I'll go on to I'll be with you in a second. Oh, yeah, no problem. Yeah, just, yeah, so. yeah, I'll go move. Oh. Marilyn, that's the photograph that hangs up in the, the White House. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
Yeah, yeah. It's still there. It is, yeah, it's still there. It's still there, yeah. Yeah. Henry. Yeah. Henry. Yeah. Henry's a fine pantry, you know. Yeah, I looked him up right, yeah. Yeah. And what year was that? Was that? That was uh, 1984. Was year? Yeah, when the, that was. 1990, I'm just, just, I'm just looking at it. Oh, right, 1990, yeah, March, sorry, March 1990. All right, cool. Yeah. Excellent, excellent, excellent. Oh. Oh. Now, what was it like hanging out in the White House bar with Jack? Yeah. But it wouldn't hang well with Alden and that often. It was only years later that we became friends in the 70s. Nice. Um, Jack was, um, would have these periodic uh, sort of bouts of drinking. You know. Yeah, yeah. And uh, he'd get dried out up in St. John, St. John the God. Oh. You know, every every few months. Has he done that now? Oh yeah, yeah, it's true. And um, so I mean, we would we pop into the White House, you know, if we're in town on the Saturday. I didn't town all my life, you know. But um, and if he was there, he was there. So what, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But the, the, I mean, I hated the, the White House pub in those days. All right. You know, I mean, it had a some sort of, it was dirty in the first case. <laughs> it was filthy then. It was filthy, yeah. Was full of mice and rats and everything. And it was a very, um, sort of, I was only a kid, of course, you know, about 19, I'd say, when I was here. And uh, I knew that um, Jack favoured me as a pupil, you know? Yeah. Because I was able to draw properly, as he used to say, draw properly. And um, I'd see him um, from time to time. Nice. But it was only down to the 90s, when around this exhibition um, came along, that we'd meet fairly regularly. Nice. And we'd have a drink when he could drink. Nice, well, yeah. You know, yeah. but um, the White House in those days was a pub that, I mean, the chap. <coughs> Chapel Paint that still life. He was uh, became a friend of mine, I remember him he was from Content. And he said to me, he said, uh, you know, he said, I, 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 my father told me not to be seen in the White House. I wasn't going there, you know. And I, I asked him why, I didn't realize at the time that it was only a haunt for artists and homosexuals. You know. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. But which it was in a way, you know. It was, it, it was you could, uh, for example, I mean, if you bought a garland there, or have you, and you wouldn't bring a garland there anyway. <laughs> you know, if I was going to go for a drink around here, I'd go up to Bill Donovan's pub with a garland, you know. Yeah, yeah. I yeah. sit in the lounge and it was nice and clean and, yeah, yeah, and yeah. bright and all that, you know. And, um, well, uh, you know, I'm kind of bittersweet. I would, now that's too, probably too strong a word to use. But I have uh, memories like that of it. Nice. You know, I was never mad about it. Mm -hmm. you know? So it was a handy place to meet people now and again. But I mean, I was never inter interested in that sort of... And a few characters in there too, were were you know, sort of flamboyant, you know, the, 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 you know, the, 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 the lyric bohemia, right, or bohemians yeah. in a way. And I mean, and and it's supposed they're, to they're, they're all working in five, yeah. five days a week jobs. You know, it's yeah. like the bloody hippies in the art school. You know, <laughs> we're, hip, we're hippies like, you know, but we want to get our ATC examination, you know. <laughs> they're protesting about the American war in Vietnam. <laughs> uh, next thing, they're queuing outside the American Embassy in Bonsbridge in Dublin. <laughs> 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 I remember, I remember I was getting in trouble at a lot of school, you know, uh, in New York school, you know, they were all, you know, he was anti, they were more full of anti-American bile than anything else. You know, I, I remember saying to the group of money, or whatever, I said, I hope the Americans bombed the shit out of that noise. Packed it to the ground. You know? But anyway, that's kind of here I was there. So, um, that was the White House part. But um, as I've said, it was only in later, in later years after that, in the 90s, that myself and Jack became anyway close. All right. Yeah. I heard somewhere that Jack mapped out the painting 
beforehand with plastic. That's seen or and Yeah, that's right. The play them. Mm-hmm. Well, he, he rarely painted on canvas, actually, Peter. Um, because canvas wasn't common in in the, the late 60s. You know, we painted on hardboard mostly. Oh, mostly nice. his early work is done and on, on board. On board, yeah. Nice. And it was a heavy type of hardboard, a type of NDF. And it's only until the canvas came in then in the 90s, what have you, that they all said, you know, the, the school took on, went to a, a really third level. You want a cup of cappuccino? Uh, yeah, she want that, please. Thank you yeah. very much. Um, that the school sort of became a third level institution, so everything changed. I was gone out of it then. So canvas has been brought in, the amount of students multiplied, they brought in the tutors from England, mm. what have you, you know, like um, Bob Baker and Jim Denison and Jim Savage, etc. When you did, when you organised that personal choice, uh, was, uh, did you enjoy doing it? Oh, I did, yes. I was at that. I was at the opening myself actually that night. You were at the opening. Yeah, I was. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Were you a student then, or what? I was. Yeah, I just got into the college at the time. Yeah, okay, yeah, that's yeah. Good old, um, yeah, it was. Yeah, yeah. Great old, old boss, that. Yeah. Times gave it two pages, two full pages. Yeah, it was. Yeah, it was on the uh, it was on the RT News as well. It was, was right? Yeah, it was. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. yeah there was uh, Michael Canning was in that one, wasn't he? Michael Canning as well. Michael Canning. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. It was actually. Yeah, yeah. 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 It was. Now there you go. We don't have any milk. Oh no, that's perfect. Thank my, you very my much. My cups are spotless. <laughs> I'm fussy about clean property. Thank you very much. Oh, oh yeah. Jacks. Um, I remember one time um, when canvas didn't exist, you know, back in the uh, late 60s again. And the Jack would rare, rarely um, venture a, a large work. What I mean by large was just a, uh, anything like three foot by three and a half. His, his work was relatively small. Right. And um, he had, you know, the barber in his life, not the barber in his life, you know, the, Susanna the Elders. Yes, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. That's, that's unique in many ways. Not only is it a wonderful work of art. But also, it's unique for a simple reason that the, um, the over its scale. But he was there one day, and he painted in the corridor. We were on the top floor of the, of the school. The secretary of the school was underneath at the landing, and Jack would paint in the corridor. <coughs> and the man couldn't put a nail into a wall. He was incapable of doing that. <laughs> now, yeah, he had this big, big, um, big uh, painting. I think it was around the time he painted uh, Suzanne and the others. And I got on to see him. Myself and Richard Slade would be welcome down, you know what I did. Oh, nice. And he painted the corridor. He had the, the easel there and the paints and all that. You know. bits, of, bits of every paint like that he picked up anywhere. You know, he painted on anything. And um, he had a large piece of cardboard. And he had it sort of, and he was going to cut it. And 
you know, you know the way you have to balance a sheet like that on the flat surface to call it properly? Yeah, yeah. You yeah. know, you have it on over two chairs. You know, they walk. Yeah. He was saw the chairs so go wobbling and everything. So I said, Jack, Jack, stop, Sam. You know, I, I, I'll do that. I'll do that. I'll call it. So I'm, oh yeah, I'm good, good, good. So it's nice as I need to be like. <laughs> so I said, so why, why do you want to cut him anyway? He says, well, he says, I've run out of picture, I've a foot left and a hardboard like, you know, you've nothing to put into it, you know. Oh, nice. And, 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 so I went on, I got a, a saw from a, a, the caretaker, a good saw, you know, so I cut it for him. But um, in, in those days, in mapping out pictures with, uh, excuse me, with some, the bits of uh, Fado or Hydro, whatever you call it, yeah. plasticine. That certainly was his practice, you know. All right, so yeah. And it became more into. I don't think it was then. Um, it, at that time, it was more to do with the later work of the clowns and the, the clowns. circuses and that type of All thing. All right. I don't have ever seen him use the um, the. Um, the uh, plasticine on the on the early work. Oh, nice. All we required on the early work was glue, glue. a good cut out from the Sunday magazine. Times magazine yeah. or the Telegraph, whatever. Put it onto the board, which sometimes he wouldn't do very well, and just paint it in his background. That's how we achieved the picture. Oh, you know? cool. Well, cool. And you know, he paint on anything. I won't bet your names. This caused an awful ruckus at the time. This other artist in Rembrick who decided that um, Jack should have one of these pictures um, brought out the, uh, the picture and gave it to Jack. Now at the time, this, he stood around this fellow. At the time, this fellow used very heavy and passed on a small piece. Uh, painted a triangle, triangle shape, etc. It was a heavy, heavy pasta. Um, anyway, whatever. Jack was stuck one day at home. And his picture was something to paint on, so he painted over the, over the picture. <laughs> the other fellow, and if he exhibited it a few weeks later, and the other fellow recognized it because the, tri the triangle <laughs> shape was in that, was in, you know, there it was protruding, you know. <laughs> That didn't go along very well. <laughs> I'd say they didn't speak to each other for a while, or he didn't speak to the Jack for a while. I was spoken, still don't. Oh, I see. <laughs> well, that's the fact. Uh, when, when Jack, was, when the canvas came into the school, I mean, it was also a source of great uh, material for Jack. Now, you must remember that he was the most unselfish man that, uh, that God ever put on the planet, you know. As far as money was concerned, <laughs> he, he, he was extremely generous. He, he loaned money to lots of people and never got it back. Wow. You know, he had loaned me 20 pounds one time on the day of Jim Kenny's funeral. I ran out of money. And uh, we were in the, we were in the White House, actually. And I said, Jack says, I, I'm. He said, what's wrong, what's wrong? I said to himself, we were there around the corner. I says, I, 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 I'm out of bread, you know, what have you, he says, then. He's 23. He came back about two weeks later. But they look of surprise on his face when I said, there's your money back. You know, what's this, you're paying me back? <laughs> you know, you know, this was, uh, this was, uh, and 20 quid was 20 quid then. Yeah, 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 yeah. I saw that painting actually that he did uh, of Jim Kenny uh, in, uh, in the Zimmer Garden. It is, yeah, it's a decent picture. Yeah, yeah it is, yeah, 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 yeah. I never really liked his beta period. It was the early work that, um, that, um, always got you. Yeah, that, that, that worked for me. Mm. Yeah, the Play Doh and the Plasticine came with the work that uh, 